Backseat Coaches presents WWE! Brackets S. A new WWE. Hooray! Still pretty much a sport. Yeah, yep. pretty, but pretty much. No, this one, this one is a sport. Okay, good. Nice to hear. <laughs> um, got some names? Oh, I've got some names. You want you want me to give you your names? Uh, yeah, go on then. Okay. You, this week, have a pie theme. Is it? Now, I can't remember if I've done a pie theme I think before. You have. I think I might have done. So I might have used this. We, we regularly have pie and, well, yeah, you can see it. For <laughs> listeners who don't know, pie is usually our treat when we record. So. Um, well, you We're can... real fat now. <laughs> yeah, I certainly am. Big fat lads. <laughs> I'm a big fat lad these days. You can be the cheeky cherry. You can be key liming the turnbuckle. You get it? Mm. Like a key lime pie. Yeah. Yeah, caught cool. off. Or you can be 3.14 seconds from destruction. That That's very obtuse. spot on, yeah. Obtuse, isn't it? Um, <laughs> like an angle. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go... F- I'll go for that one. Yeah, the, go on the then. The pie. Go on <laughs> the then. The pie pie. <laughs> the pie pie. 3.14. What have you got for me? Um, you got a Danish theme. Ooh. Because I was in Denmark. Good. Just looking at... Things. Looking at Danish things. So you can be, I cannot cope in Hagen. Ooh, that's Tag quite team. good. <laughs> cope Tag and, team. Cope and Hagen. Cope and Hagen, yeah. <laughs> Hulk Hagen, that's good. <laughs> um, head butt to cookies. Ooh, Danish butter cookies are good, yeah. aren't they? Oh, yeah. Or broke your back bacon. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite good. I want to be the first one. You cannot Can't Copenhagen, cope yeah. <laughs> Go on then, 3.14. What have you got for me? Today, we are starting in Germany before moving to Scandinavia Ooh. for a bit of underwater rugby. Nice. Okay. We've had similar sort of sports before, haven't we? Did we have octopus? No, I don't Did think so. Is why, that, that's why have we one. had? We had like underwater hockey, I think. Uh, Didn't they play ice hockey under the ice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. This is maybe more weird. Oh, okay. Good. Well, I don't know. It we're... sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds like a weird sport. How are you supposed to tackle each other underwater? Well, um, I'm not entirely sure uh, on how the tackling works. Oh. But essentially, two teams, six aside, mm-hmm. plus six subs per team. Okay. Rolling subs. Ooh. Um... Pool played in a pool with a dip depth of three point five to five meters. Okay. Um and heavy metal buckets at either end at the bottom as the goals. Heavy metal bucket oh, like on the base of the yeah, pool. Okay. The, How the, big are we talking for the buckets? Forty centimeters in diameter. A circle forty yeah. centimeters. That's not very big. No. Okay, and that's the goal. That's the goal. Interesting. That's not very rugby-ish. Um, the pool can be any size between 12 to 22 metres by 8 to 12 metres. So it could be as big as 22 by 12 or as small as 12 by 8. That's, yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that is an incredible amount of variation, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> you score by throwing the negatively buoyant ball into the opponent's goal at the bottom of the swimming pool. Okay. So the Negative- ball sinks. Yeah, I was going to say, negatively means, but- <laughs> buoyant is a very fancy way of saying it's heavy. <laughs> it's filled with salt water. So it's, it's oh. so it falls slowly. Oh, so it's- okay. So it's no- it actually doesn't sink per se. It's just heavier. It, it does sink. So it, does, but- it will sink, but, yeah, slow, but not, slowly. It's not like solid and sink. Yeah. It's kind of got water inside it. Okay, uh, but then negatively buoyant is correct. It's good usage. <laughs> um, they use uh, water polo balls, but with water in rather than air. Yeah, water polo balls like that sort of size, about like a small, like, sort of the size of your hand. Yeah. yeah. Um, ball can be passed in any direction, but must not leave the water. Okay, can't so go above be, the surface. Yeah. Right. Um where do the players stay? They stay on the surf. They can't stay on the surface if it can't go above the surface. I suppose. Yeah, so there's a lot of diving involved. But they've not got snorkels out. Uh, they have snorkels. Oh, but not like 
not breathing apparatus. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Sco- one scuba player. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be quite good, actually. A Libero <laughs> with scuba stuff on. Sit underwater all the time. Yeah. Um, normally play with two forwards, mm-hmm. a centre and a right, two backs and two goalkeepers slash, slash goalkeeper and left wing. I guess you can play with a centre and a left and maybe a goalkeeper and a right wing. Why is the right wing know. at the back and the this left wing at the front, or vice versa? Don't know. This is just that's just what it said on the website. Generally, that seems considered tactic. I don't understand why you wouldn't just have like a two-one-two and then a goalie. Two-two-two. They just go two-two-two. Yep, flat two-two-two. Yeah, fine, whatever. Yeah, contact sport. Nice. You can quote attack another player if they have possession of the ball. Good. I, I will. I Get like him, lads. <laughs> it's basically a pylon underwater. Yeah. So I was going to say it's really hard to fight in the water, but then water polo, they, they do do a fair They've, bit of fighting. Yeah, don't they? yeah, they do. And it's all underwater, the fighting. Yeah, you, see you can't see a lot of it, can you? <laughs> <laughs> They're just kicking each other under the water and they're um, splashing. So different to water polo, there are two refs in the water mm. and one ref above the water. Right. Like Three hovering, <laughs> hovering yeah. over. The <laughs> There's one lifeguard on the side going, Burr! no bumming, <laughs> no heavy petting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not heavy petting. I was punching him. <laughs> oh, that's loud. That's <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Carry on. Um, two 15 minute half, so it's not like really long okay. games. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it would be very tiring. I imagine. Yeah. Although six six players and six rolling subs is means you wouldn't get too tired probably no where are the subs they sit on like a bench by the side of the pitch yeah yeah you have, to, you have to get in and out of the pool to re- yeah yeah you have to get in and out at the same point yeah go okay, yeah it's like a entrance yeah the part of the field mm. um originally it was designed as like a way to warm up for like invented by like a german diving team oh okay um, that makes sense and then used for like other warm up for like water polo and what have you yeah and like, then it doesn't so the actual name doesn't really seem to mean anything it's in no way shape or form similar to rugby no apart from the fact you can fight people. yeah <laughs> yep. it, it doesn't sound like rugby at all you just pass it around and shoot they say it's the only sport where the ball can move in like three dimensions but that's definitely not true it's the only one where you can pass in three dimensions, I suppose. You could pass downwards to somebody who's down there. You can't really do that in any other sport, can you? Can, you? you can head it down in football. Depends where the ball yeah, is but in football. That person is on the same level as you. <laughs> <laughs> you're not like you're not physically one person higher and one person lower. It depends how short they are. <laughs> That's true, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, I can kind of see what yeah. they mean, but I don't. Yeah, I think you're right. It's a bit of a stretch. It's the only sport that can pass in four <laughs> dimensions. It's the only sport that plays in three dimensions. The rest of them all two. They're all yeah. two dimension. That's what's the TV? Yeah. 2D, isn't it? <laughs> it's all two D. <laughs> Cheers. Um, there are world championships every four years mm. since 1980. So oh. it's been going like going a bit almost four years. Yeah. Um, in 2019. There were 17 teams at the World Championships. That's an annoying number, isn't it? Graz, Aust- Austria. Yeah, yeah, an incredibly annoying number. You can't divide that into groups. That's impossible. Yeah. That, that, why do they let that last person in? Sixteen's <laughs> perfect. Or or a couple dropped out. Uh, Twenty. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, <laughs> three, dropped, three out. dropped out. That's probably more likely to be honest. So, what? The, you're only getting 17 teams to a world championship. So yeah. I say only, not bad. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. But they still have an under 21s world championship. Do they? Yeah. Wow. I guess like those the kids have got to learn somehow, haven't they? Got to have somewhere to play and beat each other up. And yeah, drown. beat each other up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> drown. <laughs> Some kids have got to drown somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I th- it, I couldn't find out where the 2020 world championships are going to oh, be. Oh, it's coming up this year, is it? Uh, that's good. Oh no, sorry, it won't be. It'll be every four years, so it'll be twenty twenty three is the next one. Wait, if it started in nineteen eighty, it should be this year, shouldn't it? Uh they must have missed one they had at a, some point. A couple of gap years for the yeah. wars, did they? All right. I didn't I didn't look through all of them. No, that's fine. For the wars since nineteen eighty. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> I don't know, Balkan War, part of it. I don't know. Um so yeah, there was a tournament in twenty nineteen, so okay. twenty twenty three. Yeah, right. So we've got plenty of time to train up. 
Yeah. That's good. To learn how to swim. Yeah. <laughs> and how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> In three dimensions. In three dimensions. <laughs> I have to get those, like, the 3D glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what Whoa. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's coming up. Oh, it hit me in the face. <laughs> Backseat Coaches presents WWE Bracket S.